What does it mean to be aesthetic? Well, being aesthetic is really just another word for being beautiful or appealing to the eye or really just any of your senses. Aesthetics isn't tangible. It's just a concept of our mind. And it's really an objective that can be applied to almost anything from landscapes to people to even sounds. This guy did a really good video going in depth about visual aestheticness or beauty and why it makes us as humans happy. I really do recommend you go check that out. But I'm going to be going over not only visual aestheticness, but also audio and emotional aestheticness here on Truly Aesthetic. Visuals is probably the first thing that will come to your mind when thinking the words beauty or aesthetic. Although completely subjective, there are many standards that we as humans have created that help us decide what's aesthetic and what isn't. Pretty universally agreed upon standards that you'll probably only hear about in art classes, such as symmetry, balance, unity, and things like that. That doesn't mean you have to follow these specific guidelines to be appealing though. These principles are really just a standard, but Standard's boring, right? There can be many exceptions. There are many different aesthetic styles constantly coming in and out of style. Although a big favorite of most is probably the 80s and retro aesthetic-ness. And I, I say and, but they're the, same, they're the same thing, 80s retro. Which is also a big reason why I love Stranger Things. Not really because of the story or anything like that. I just love the style of the whole show. It takes place like in the 80s and you get that whole retro vibe of like everything in it. When it comes to vintage retro aesthetics though, there's three main categories or styles that usually draw a lot of confusion between each other. I mean, there are gray areas where these styles overlap, where, I mean, you could consider something both or even all three, but there's Outrun, Vaporwave, and Cyberpunk. These are actually types of music, but they've grown to have many visual standards and properties assigned to them. In Outrun, you'll see more pink and purple than you would in others, and it typically shows a sunset with sometimes vehicles or people going into it. Vaporwave is where you'll find more blue, calmer things, and it's usually associated with statues. Cyberpunk seems to have more yellowish palettes, with futuristic stuff being its focus. I mean, it's kind of in the name too, Cyberpunk. But like I said, um, any one of these three styles can overlap and you could have a certain picture or piece of art be considered multiple of these genres rather than just one. As you can see with this diagram here. But if you classify something wrong, it'll usually get people pretty offended. Be careful. Aesthetics give us a very pleased feeling, that which makes us happy. And, you know, who doesn't want to be happy? As good as being happy is directly, uh, being happy actually has a lot of indirect health benefits as well. So, I mean, that's cool. And something I've seen a lot lately is just normal, everyday things such as items or sceneries have been being re-portrayed in an aesthetic light. You'll see it a lot with, like, lo-fi type things. Although a lot of people might not care for that, I think it's great. If we can learn to see beauty and aestheticness in everyday things that we're surrounded by every day, then we can naturally become more happy and content with where we are or what we do. Aesthetic doesn't mean having the most expensive clothes or the most extravagant places. Aestheticness is our perception of beauty, meaning it really can be brought out of anything if we really want it to. Like with all this happening, lately I've seen things in my own town very differently. I've found that there's a lot of beauty in it that I've never even recognized. And what's amazing about it is it doesn't just stop there, because in the next episode I'll be covering audio aesthetics. It's been your boy Jack with his Wi-Fi, and I'll catch you aesthetically beautiful mofos later.